Hi, Spelunky Daily. Uh, 6th of January. <clears throat> yeah, I've been a bit lax about it recently. I apologise. Just uh, work and Christmas and stuff. Everything's been getting in the way, but I should all get back to normal. Found out this guy's not called Ebenezer. He's, um... Oh, he's from Dracula. Van Helsing. He's Van Helsing. Who knew? Well, somebody knew. The guy that told me. But I didn't know. Mm. Playing once again. Um, I'm playing with the uh, <coughs> the Nintendo Wii uh, Classic pad rather than the 360 pad. Um, whoop. Still not decided which one I prefer. I definitely prefer the D-pad on this one, but and I was getting, you know, I was getting quite um quite good with the with the joystick on the on the Xbox pad. So I don't know. Stick with this one for now. Oh, everything's going so going well so far. Um, still going well, even though that was insane. I'm just going to ignore that. time I was talking to you about music, um, specifically what I what I liked, and um, I don't know. I like a lot of stuff, but some of it's yeah, no, some of it's a bit um, niche or a little lesser known. I don't like a lot of chart stuff, not because I'm trying to be elitist, I just think it's rubbish. I just think it's it's just awful. It all sounds the same. I know people say, um... Music was always sort of better in the past. I'm not entirely sure I agree with that. I think in the past they've probably had, they've had phases of, you know, where... Um, where all music sort of sounded the same. Go through there. Or people were doing, trying to do the same thing and emulate one another in order to to make a successful song or a successful, you know, um, uh, album. But right now, the the music that's out in the charts is is is, is dire. In the main, it's just awful, and I can't stand it. It's all auto tuned rubbish. Like that Katy Perry song where she's talking about being a a, a tiger, or she's got the eye of the tiger, and I just hate it. I just hate it. It's not even the worst offender. It's just, it's just bad. But that's not even the worst offender. Just one of many awful songs. So I tend to listen to um, things that I find on Spotify or Groove Shark or. Um, things that are, uh, things that I friends have recommended to me. Um, have a few friends who are, are, are really seriously, you know, into music. And uh, and I I, I, th I think I I am as well. Uh, quite serious about music. So they're always recommending me interesting things which I might not have heard of. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably open-minded as I said last time. I'm not going to pick up that idol because. If I roll it this way, then it, will it come back down? I mean, there might be a shopkeeper on this level, and I don't want to piss the shopkeepers off, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. I'll come down this way, I think. Splat. Well, that was okay. Um, that wasn't okay. <laughs> oh, poor little scarab. Should have seen that coming, really. Obviously just didn't. Um, let's have a quick look up here, see if there's anything good. No, nothing. I can hear a damsel faintly calling in the background. My 
aerobic instincts are kicking in. Or my, my instinct for self-preservation, really, because I need that health point. If I didn't get anything for rescuing the damsels, I just never would. They could rot in here for all I care. But no, because they give me a health point, I will, I will rescue them. Very selfish man. And, um... hmm. Here, a spitting snake. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Should I go through there? No. I'll leave it. Take that. The arrow is only good for one one attack, and then it it doesn't hurt anyone. You know, it kind of goes through bats, and it just sort of irritates spiders, but it doesn't actually hurt them. That was silly, but uh, at least they're dead now. Oh god, how am I going to do this? I, there we go. I always worry that I'll throw the throw the bomb at the wrong trajectory, and it'll just um it'll just anger the spider, knock it down, and. I don't want that to happen. I really don't want that to happen. Sticky bombs now, so that's a good thing. What's going on down here? A pug. And I can get back up if I want. Let's quick look over here first. An altar. A pug and an altar. This is... This is magic. So yeah, useless little... um The uh, arrow shaft. No good to me. Let's go and get that bug. I'm coming for you, pug. Coming to sacrifice you to the blood god. Don't worry, your suffering will be over soon. You're suffering on this worldly plane. This, uh, you know what I mean. Whoop, there we go. Spring Heel Jack, they call me. I'm not going to waste a rope to get up there. Oh, I've wasted a lot of time in this level already, actually. I need to just get a move on. Let's get a bloody move on. My sister bought me the uh, new Alan Partridge film for Christmas. Bloody love Alan Partridge. Can't wait to watch it. I think that's um that's tonight sorted. Right, I'll just avoid that guy. I'm surprised that didn't go off. Surprise! Whoop. Whoop. I'll take this rat. Just in case there's a dart trap, it will hit the rat and not me. That's that then. Yeah, I don't know how many of my followers will know about Alan Partridge. I don't know if he's like, if he's a successful comedy figure in America as well as England. He seems to be. That that brand of humour does seem to be particularly sort of English. Um, just don't ask me to explain what I mean by that. Good, that's great. Um, however, however, hmm, mm, you're dead. Sorry, sorry, everyone. Messed that up massively. Should have just blown up the tiki trap while I had the chance. Really, it's too busy thinking about Alan Partridge. Stupid, sexy Partridge. Actually, the last thing Alan Partridge is is sexy. Yeah, for my uh, if I have if I have uh, American followers or Canadian followers or anything like that, English speaking followers, check out Alan Partridge. Um, it's really very good. He's not a, a person. He's not a real person. Who, um, you understand? He's a he's a, a a character created by a comedian called Steve Coogan. 
And he's been around, he's been around for years and years. But he's he's been consistently good all that time. Really just mm, this is dangerous. Well, well then. I guess I'll just leave that. I might, I might get that boomerang. Okay, that was a rubbish level, because I didn't get really any gold, and it took me too long, and I was talking about Alan Partridge. Well, the Alan Partridge bit was fine, I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing that. Oop. Sounds like a stomach gurgling. A hungry stomach. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Oop, sorry. Mate. Oh yes, it's the uh, the Wii the Wii controller is doing the business there. Try doing that with a stick. It's, well, it's possible, but it's much more difficult. Whoop. Get that monkey. Don't worry, love. I'll rescue you. Unless there's an altar, in which case you're dead meat. think that through, but I have the climbing gloves, so it's okay. How fortunate. Ooh, lots of bombs. Um, yeah, you can go that way, because you'll fall in that hole. That's fine. Oh, I'll spend all my money on bombs. Why not? Get some, get some cash for this idol. Never mind. Do, 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 do. Quite an easy daily so far. There's not um, not been a lot to worry about. That's the most worrying thing so far. <laughs> Quite frankly. There we go. On your belly. I thought that guy dropped some gems and stuff. Not seeing any. I guess I'm mistaken. Oh, springy shoes. Oh no. I've got springy shoes anyway, and I got hurt. Christ. Where's that pug? It's around here somewhere. There's an altar. And there's a pug! Pug and an altar. I need to bust through to get to the pug? Yes I do, but I don't need to bust through both walls. That would be wasteful. Come this way. Thank you. I should have let the ghost come and turn them all into... Gems, but I didn't, and it's too late now. Kapala! Um, I guess I'm leaving then. Save my bombs for another day. Anyone played it? Oh shit! Fuck you, man. Just fuck you. Oh, you dickhead. Well, I'm glad you're dead, but. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the most difficult thing so far. Bloody hell. It's not gonna kill him. Lots of blood here, and I missed it all. I 
another shrine, my god. Yum. These guys have got quite a lot of blood in them. Some strange reason, considering they're plants and plants don't bleed. To the best of my uh, knowledge. Either the snails, or if they do, it's not a uh, not the kind of blood that that, that Kali would be interested in. Very quickly, um. there. Doing quite well so far. Happy with this. I'd love to make it to the uh, City of Gold for the first time, and maybe even Hell. Oh god. Wow. Everything's gone fucking mad already. in my mouth there. Look at that cute little penguin. Oh, he's stuck. Here you go, little buddy. I'll get you out. Oops. I, actually, I like I like animals in real life. I'd just like to point that out. I, I don't uh, I don't throw animals into spike traps in real life. Uh, Admittedly, the opportunity to do so has never really come up, but I, I like to think that I can do that. That's not the sort of person I am. Good grief, everything is just going off now. Oh, <laughs> I want some spike shoes. Wow. Am I gonna am I gonna am I gonna do it? Am I gonna chop this guy's head off? Oh shit, no I'm not. I'm gonna run away. Can have one of them. Oh, yes, let's do that. Brilliant. I wonder if that's like a, a regular drop from the Yeti, the spike shoes. It kind of seems like it might be. Because it's such a handy item to have. Yes, I will take... Oh dear. What are you doing down there? You muppet. No, you can stay there. Quite like that tune in the last level. I don't know how... Uh, whether you can really hear the music at all, but the tune in that last level sounded to me very much like a kind of sitcom, an American sitcom from sort of the, the late 70s. Oh shit! Oh shit! Blown up! Well, hey. Oh, that was rubbish! I was doing so well! Just got the spike shoes. Oh, well done everyone! Well done everyone! But me, because I died in a really dumb way. Anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, try, I'll try. I'll try my best to do another one tomorrow. I know I'm, I'm busy tomorrow, but um, I'll have a bit of time in the morning, so I'll try and do one then. Hope you have a really good day. See you later. Bye.